Check it out now. Hi guys, I'm Sangyang Longas and Jacob is a fan! Where have you been? All over the world. <laughs> why, why would I, I don't see? Know. <laughs> okay. I was following your lead. Okay, get up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cook and then he will be back at the eating time at the end, okay? Alright, he will be there watching out all the cameras are filming, right? Alright, what's up guys? Today, um, no, 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 welcome to Asian at Home. So today, I'm going to show you how to make tuna kimchi jjigae. We call it chamchi kimchi jjigae. So it's a tuna kimchi stew. Um, it's a very hearty, something that like uh, all Koreans eat whenever there's nothing to eat in the refrigerator. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, Jacob has been craving kimchi so much uh, from England, so I decided to make some kimchi food for Jacob. So what you need first is two cups of kimchi that already cut up or chopped up. If you have a, uh, my mak kimchi already in your refrigerator, it's perfect to use for this. Or if you have the traditional kimchi that like a whole cabbage one, just cut it up or chop it up with the scissor. You know, I love using scissor when I'm cutting kimchi, so the mess is not on my cutting board. So anyways, let's slice up some onions. So you will need Maybe one, one small to medium sized onion or half of just large onion. Since I have a large onion, I'm gonna use a half of it. Oh, by the way, I look like a disco jockey today, 90s disco jockey. <laughs> Somebody play music. Okay, slice the onion. About half inch, quarter to half inch thick. This onion gives this natural sweetness to this kimchi stew. Oh, it's so good, so, so good. And you know, onion is so good for you too, you know what I mean? Okay, this is good to go. And you need some green onions. So yeah, even though we're adding like this much onion, we're gonna still add a green onion because you know it's green. In this red soup, we need some green. It's a nice presentation. What did I say about Korean food? All about presentation. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it about same size of onion. So two inch long pieces, just like that. Then one block of tofu. So cut it half in lengthwise, and then slice into, let's say about three quarter inch. Make sure it's not one inch, not half inch, three quarter inch. That is you know, the golden golden thickness of the tofu for tuna kimchi jjigae. Okay, make sure, you need to measure if you need to. I'm pro, so I don't need to measure it. I can just eyeball it. All right, the tofu is good to go. So yeah, let's heat up our pot. I don't have a guess. <laughs> no, Oops. Different kind of guess. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, it has a gas. It doesn't didn't hook it up. Okay, we have a gas. There you go. Add about one to two teaspoons of oil. That will do. And then add the kimchi. You will need two cups of well fermented kimchi. So make sure the kimchi is sour. That's the best choice. But some reason you don't have a sour kimchi. You know what? Uh, you can add a little vinegar into fresh kimchi. I mean, kind of trick, but it will do the job. So over medium heat, we are going to saute the kimchi first. When you kimchi saute in like a real, like with a little tiny bit of oil, the texture is actually better when you make the kimchi jjigae. The final result will be better. And it actually, you don't have to cook as long as, you know, when you don't do this process. Because kimchi jjigae is always tastes better the next day, but this is like, it, it will do like a little trick. So this process will take about a couple minutes, like two to three minutes until the kimchi gets like a little softened up. We're not trying to like dry them up. It's just more like let them soften before we add any other ingredients. Now what are we gonna do is push the kimchi in the one side and then add all the onion to where the empty spot is. Reduce the heat a little bit if you need to. Tofu on the other side. I don't know about you, but I love tofu. Maybe I'm adding a little too much tofu. We'll see. Three pieces of dupe left that just added that much. And green onions, and some half cup of kimchi juice. Yes, this is very important part. And three cups of Korean ultimate stock. Finally, I made my stock. <laughs> Recipe is right there. The best stock to use when you're cooking Korean food, especially stew or soup dishes. But um, if you're, you know, 
not feel like you're not feeling and making stock from scratch go ahead and use you know my secret go ahead and use that or you can use a chicken stock too now we are going to bring bring it to boil like hard boiling and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes oh i almost forgot season <laughs> Season the soup with one to two teaspoons of fish sauce. Um, so you can just season with only salt if you want to, that's totally fine. If you made the Korean ultimate stock, but if not, add a little bit of fish sauce. So one to two, one to two teaspoon, I'm not giving you like exact one because depending on how salty your kimchi is and depending on how, um, uh, if you're using like a chicken stock, beef stock, or vegetable stock from store that has sodium, so you might need like maybe half teaspoon to one teaspoon, but for my homemade stock, I will need two teaspoons with my homemade kimchi because those are not really that salty. So I'm gonna add two teaspoons. Yeah, and yeah, it's good to go. I'm actually going to bring it to boil without the cover and then cover, reduce the heat to medium and simmer 15 to 20 minutes. Don't you know I'm a little diva? You need to push the film. I don't have to do it. <laughs> oh, it smells so good already. All right, so my kimchi jjigae has been simmered for 15 minutes. And now this is time to add the tuna. So you could add the tuna earlier and simmering all together, but that way, I personally like a chunk of tuna, not like a breakdown, like a little pieces of tuna. So yeah, this is why I'm adding tuna later. I'm using this Korean tuna in oil. Uh, this is my favorite tuna to use for when I'm cooking Korean food, but you can use any tuna that about to nine to 10 ounce of tuna in oil. That's what I prefer, but you can use tuna in water as well and make sure you drain the water if you are using tuna in water. But if you are using tuna in oil, make sure to put all the oil in it because it tastes so good. And like this, I'm going to simmer another five minutes. So the tuna will absorb all the flavor and the kimchi jjigae will absorb the tuna flavor. Five minutes, that's all they need to get married. Five minutes. So I'm gonna taste it real quick before I serve. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Get ready, Jacob. Come on. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Excited? Oh, it got dark again. Oh my gosh, today the light, sunlight is not helping us. It's okay. It still tastes the same when we eat. Oh, let me change it real quick. Okay, there. I think it's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isn't it smell so good? Mm. <sighs> Just taste the soup. Not yet. See, like a little little oil on top. That's the best part of a tuna kimchi jjigae. That's why you need to use tuna in oil. I miss that so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. You need to use tuna in oil and add all the oil in it. I mean, it's up to you. If you don't, if you wanna be healthy, go for it. Like drain it. But and then especially over rice, it's so delicious. Oh, it's not hungry, so. Ah, I'm careful. Oh, I'm spilling stuff. Mm -hmm. All that kimchi juice. Mm-hmm. The rice. Just mix it with the rice. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Tell us about how much you miss the um, oh, kimchi. I miss kimchi so much. <laughs> The food in England is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's just heavy. Mm -hmm. And every little chance I got to eat some kimchi, I took it, but it wasn't your kimchi. Mm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. It's so comforting. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's kind of like cloudy and chilly. So out. I have a question. 
Is a tuna kimchi chicken more comforting than tuna casserole to you? <sighs> Be careful. And she has to do it on camera. It's not even fair. Your mom is watching too. No, seriously, what do you prefer? Tuna casserole or tuna kimchi jjigae? Tuna kimchi jjigae. Good, good answer. Really, not even just saying that. Yeah? My mom never really made a lot of tuna casserole though. No. Yeah. But baby, you're from the guy from the south. Okay, I know. Born in Indiana, grow up in Florida. <laughs> mm. This is you? Thank you for telling me. Because um, I know what casserole means to you. Used to. It used to take a long time for me to really like the tuna kimchi jjigae. Because mm -hmm. I always like the one with the pork in it. But the tuna or spam. One, or spam, but the tuna one is like so much cleaner. Mm. So much cleaner. Tuna, tuna kimchi jjigae is like a level 2. Like a level 1 is a kimchi jjigae with uh, pork or kimchi jjigae with spam. Mm. Level 2 is with tuna. And wear the noodle shirt and if you put noodles in it, it would be good too. <laughs> mm. The last noodles will be really good. Mm. Mm. My favorite time to eat this, you know when it is? Rainy day. Nope. Breakfast time. With fried egg? Mm. Oh, I should have made the fried egg. Big chunks of tuna, you're right. Mm. Isn't, Isn't it that? better than like a tuna all over, like a little small chunky, like not even chunky, little small pieces that you can't even, like am I eating tuna or what? what? Oh, no, level 3 is actually gongchi, gongchi kimchi jjigae. You know, the skinny mackerel, it's a kind of mackerel type of oh, fish, but like one. a skinny one, but it's in the can mm -hmm. with the bone in it. But <laughs> see, <laughs> he's not that level I yet. Like it. I he's not that level yet. <laughs> the bone in it is like such a pain in the butt. No, you don't even have to take the bones out. You can eat the bones because it's so soft. They cook the heck out of it. It's not even like you can chew up, chew up the bone. You just eat it. See? That's what I want, is fish bones. That's level three. Mm. Calcium. Oh. I like, almost forgot you guys were there and just keep eating. Mm -hmm. ah. So a lot of people like my comments, I'm saying, eat like a real human. Mm. Then, then tell me what it tastes like. What do you think about it? I like that. That's it. <laughs> You're like a real human. Don't fake it. Is that what you're saying? Mm. Because on the food shows, usually they eat like... You're like, wow, don't kill me. Oh my god, this is the best. I did think about it. I was like, what's my mouth look like when I'm like, ah. mm? Hold on, before the comments, I don't know if you're going to put this on here now, about it looks like I might have gained weight. I did. Now I'm losing it again. Remember last night we were watching um, my one of the oldest video on YouTube? Mm. <clears throat> and we were laughing so hard. Like left so hard, and I think it will make really good um, reaction video. If you guys want it, just let us know in the comment. Mm -hmm. Reaction to the old, my old cute, video, innocent, sweet, fake. <laughs> Anyways, um, you guys, even though you guys probably not leaving comment, I'm gonna make it because uh, I want to make it. <laughs> I just want to know. But even that video, I took a bite. I was like. Mm -hmm. First video, oh my god! And actually, the previous video, somebody comment saying like, if you eat the food and if you don't dance, you're not Sanjiang longest. <laughs> well, you're, you're not Sanjiang longest if you don't dance after eating good food. Mm. So you guys got me right. Mm. I'm so good, I'm crying. Mm. <sighs> Close this video jacket, 90, 90s video jacket style. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, stop it. <laughs> I didn't expect that you are gonna do it too. <laughs> if you guys liked my chamchi or tuna kimchi jjigae recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. Big thumbs up and special shout out to all of you who were commenting before. I Thumbs up this Sun Yang's video before even I start watching. <laughs>
guys you guys are my favorite thank you so much so i know you guys did all that and i'm telling you who hasn't done it like that come on do it thumbs up do it thumbs up do it thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the thumbs too thank you so much for watching and remember you can always cook asian food at your house making it easy and fun i'm sungkyung longgast and this oh jacob longgast no, sorry <laughs> and this is asian at home and i'll see you next time bye bye guys bye guys <laughs>